just working on some keychains, um, the song pack keychains. And um, I decided to come on here and just show y'all how I made them really quickly because it was a little difficult to get it how I really wanted it to look. I tried two different methods and this is how each of them came out. I prefer the second method better and this is how all of my orders came out. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into how we make these really quickly. So the first method, I used um, sticker paper and I printed the entire image out. So I basically, hold on one second. First one I used sticker paper and I like printed the entire image out on the sticker paper. So this is just the whole sticker on clear sticker paper. You see that? But if you can see, it's really see-through. And so when you put it on the glass, it just looks weird. And then this paper isn't completely clear. It has like a white cast. So it gave it like this weird, like not all the way clear look, which I didn't really like. And then, like I said, the picture is kind of see-through. So I didn't like that one. So then I tried um, printing the pictures out on regular sticker paper, like I did for the actual big song plaques. And then I printed, well, I bought some better sticker paper. It said it was crystal clear. It's not crystal clear, but it's better. And I made the bottom part out of sticker clear sticker paper. So this is how it came out. Did a few different ones for some customers that wanted some. So yeah, you can do it either way. You can make a sticker like this and it'll come out essentially something like this, which isn't ugly, but I just didn't like it. So I printed all my pictures on regular sticker paper and then I printed the bottom part on clear sticker paper and then I just kind of assembled it. So yeah, this is the one that I prefer and this is the first one that I made. I will say it took me a few minutes or a few tries to get all the air bubbles not to um, transfer, well, not to show up or whatever, but once I got the hang of it, it started to get a lot better. So yeah, let me put these together and then um, I'll show y'all how they come out. am adding these little fur balls to each of my orders just to be a little something for all my customers that ordered these because they really came through like I have so many to do so yeah that's a good thing so yeah I'm just adding these I cleared out Dollar Tree looking for these and I took them all I'm actually making mine now though because um I need a few too I'm starting with the clear sticker paper, the song part, and then we'll put the photo paper over it to, and it kind of like covers all of our imperfections. Okay, and then the little trick that I learned to not smear, because sometimes with this clear sticker paper, it smears if you rub it too much. So I just put this little protective paper over it and I smear it to get all the air bubbles out. So yeah, I just, just to make sure all the air bubbles are out. So I also tried it a third way with um, making this part like I make the big plaques with the premium vinyl, but the letters are just too small. And if y'all are familiar with vinyl and um, cutting small letters and detailed shit like that, I don't have the patience for it. My, um, I don't know if I need a sharper blade or what, or better vinyl, but the vinyl I use is Oracle and it's actually really good. It's like the best vinyl I've ever used. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna go the sticker paper way. It would look better if you did it with the vinyl because it'll be more clean and actual, like actually clear, but you have clear sitting on top of clear. So it gives it like a little filmy kind of look, but it looks okay. I think it really looks really good. But yeah, so I tried it that way at first because I thought that I could just shoot, like put it on as a decal with transfer paper, but the letters didn't really cut out that good because they were too small. And then I tried the way where I just made a whole sticker and I didn't like that because it, for one, it was see-through. And then two, that sticker paper, the first sticker paper that I used was not all the way clear. And then now this method is the best method that I think works the best. They look really good. Shout out to everybody that ordered one.
and like I said, this was the first one that I tried. And this was the second one that I tried. And the second one is the method that I ended up using for all of them. So yeah, now I'm about to add my little embellishments on them and package and ship them out. All right guys, so I'm all done. I got some more sitting over here. They showed out with the orders, okay? Um, but they all came out so nice. There's a glare, but anywho. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial on how I transformed the big song plaques into these mini keychains. Order you one if you don't know how to make it. Ask Stormy Creations. I got you. See you next time. Bye.